In this billion dollar budgeted YouTube video, I discuss the pros of having 15% window tint on my car. Okay, I just sort of wanted to make a video about the window tint that I guess expect to see when you get 15% window tint on your car. So if you just want to follow me around. Um, so I have 15% window tint on all four of my windows and then I have a visor right here. You guys can see from like multiple angles that if you think if you get right here, you can sort of see inside the car. Actually, you can really see inside the car. So that's not very good. But from certain angles, you can't really see inside. Oh, that's my car. Don't mind it. I tried to get the license plate in it because then people will stalk me. Oh, jeez. I'll just cover it. <laughs> and this is the other side. See that right there. That's the other side. Let's just get a, a front shot of it. This is obviously not true. You guys want to see what's inside? How it looks like inside? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Oh my God! It's hot as balls in here. Freaking Christ! Okay. Let's actually let me see it. Okay. So this is just some contrast. So you guys can see that this window is obviously tinted, and right here it's not. So this is just what it looks like with the contrast. So a lot of people think that like. With 15% tint, it's really hard to see outside, but it's really not. Like you get good visibility from the inside looking out, but people trying to look inside can't really see you unless it's from like specific angles. That's what it looks like from the inside. So as you guys can see, like it's actually like really visible. Hi. Okay, so it's, what I have on there, it's the Lumar Formula One and this type of window tint, you have to get it from a dealer that's specialized, I mean licensed, to actually do this tint because I, I don't know why, but it's like really high grade tint and it comes like in five different varieties. I have the base. So what it is, is, is it's super high quality, but like decently okay for heat reduction. The higher up you go, the better it is for the heat reduction, but the look stays the same and the quality stays the same. Another cool thing with Lumar is that it comes with a lifetime warranty as long as you keep the receipt. So if like anything bad happens to it, you'll notice with a lot of cars, at least that I've noticed, um, that it starts to like bubble right here, like from the window tint. And that means that there's like air pockets being created inside the window tint. And that just like doesn't really look good. In terms of cost, this is a little bit more pricier. Pricier, I think I paid like 320, I think it was. Actually, I didn't say it. I think it's like 320. Visor was like an extra 40, so like 280 or something like that for all four windows, which is like actually not that bad. Uh, oh, I want to show you guys another thing. So how about you sit in the car? Oh yeah, that's all. Oh. He's my favorite anime character. I just want to show you guys like what it looks like when someone's sitting in the car. So, so, she is sitting in the car and I think she's waving, but you can like barely see a silhouette of her. And from certain angles, you can't tell at all that there's like anyone in there. Certainly from the back, like you can maybe capture if she was a little bit taller, like you can, okay, you can see her head <laughs> and her waving. But I mean, other than that, in terms of privacy, this thing works super, super great. One of the reasons why I love this tent is because people can't really see you inside so like if you like want to munch down a hamburger you can do it in privacy because people just won't be able to see you which is also pretty nice uh... oh cops so i live in the state of washington and technically the lowest percentage you can go in the state of washington i think is 35 percent or 30. you might you guys might need to look that up because i don't have to top of my head but i know it's like in the 30-ish range this is 15 percent so technically I'm driving illegally, but I've been with like on the road next to cops and they've been looking at me from like the like stoplight from across from me and I've never had any issues with them. They've never stopped me once. They always like pass by me and like you can obviously tell from the sides that this thing is like dark AF with 15%. So I personally haven't had any issues with the cops and this traffic stop. I will show you guys what it looks like at night just to give you guys a comparison of how it is driving at night compared to the daytime. We'll actually go ahead and do that right now. It's 
now uh, not daytime. I, I don't know. It's in the evening. And this is um, what the car looks like with the tint when it's like, you know, when the sun is down. So I just want to like, just sort of pan around and see like what it's lo what it looks like. It's a little bit, so okay now, okay, now you can't even tell what's inside the car anymore, which is like good. It's like complete reflection. It looks like a freaking mirror. I mean, it still works really good in the daytime as far as like privacy goes, but towards the evening, this thing just sort of acts like a mirror. Like you can't really see anything inside. Okay, so my fine assistant right now is holding the camera. If you can tell right now, like just look out this window right here, like it's not completely dark looking from inside out to the world. One of the things that I was scared about when I was getting the 15% tint is like how dark it would be at night. But honestly, as you guys can see, like it's perfectly fine. Um, if you look out through the windshield, this has no tint obviously, and just show them a little difference between like the windshield and what it looks like outside of the tent. Like it's just a different shade. Like it looks, you can see everything so perfectly, but like everything is just a little bit darker. So if like you're worried about like not being able to see from inside your car, it's, it's honestly not that big of an issue. It looks like completely fine. That's really about it. I just really wanted to show you guys like what it looks like from the inside. Like what everything looks like outside. So. Visibility is completely fine, is like what I'm trying to say, so. Um, uh, At this point in the video, I ran out of things to say. So, instead, the remaining footage is just us driving around the block and I talk about Dr. Seuss and Washington. So continue to watch if you care to see more. If not, then I guess I'll see you in the next video. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know if this is actually true, but I, that I read sometimes that giraffes actually can't cough. You guys want like a random crap like the day or the night, whatever you're I mean, watching it. Let us know in the comments what you know about giraffes. Yeah. Yeah, what you know about giraffes. Um, I, I don't know why this is even still rolling actually. It's, it's actually kind of dumb that like this is still done because it's supposed to be a pretty good one. Outside looks nice, and honestly, it was getting super like hot inside the house, so we decided to just do it this way. Those trees right there, can, can you point, yeah, those trees right there remind me of Dr. Seuss. If you guys need to know that, it's, it's okay. Um, this is a really nice neighborhood. I'm not going to tell you the uh, the area I live in because I don't want anyone getting like too crazy and stalking me, but. Those of you that do know who I am, you'll know that it's Washington, but the rest of like where I live has to be kept a secret because don't want any stalkers. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I guess uh, I guess that might be it for for this video. Um, Thanks for watching, and if you actually got this far, honestly, thanks for watching because that's uh, that's that's I, I really appreciate that.